the concept of Freeload and the PM100X1 um, came from uh, installation exercise. We think if, if we can simplify the installation or, or simplify integrating amplifiers into these OEM systems and leverage the existing capability that's in the vehicle, then that's a benefit to our consumer. That's going to touch more people. One of the targets was it had to be a perceivable difference. You know, when someone buys an amp for their ex the expectations are high. And the PM100X1 with its 100 watt rating at 2 ohm, 60 watt rating at, at 4 ohm, that meets that perceivable difference, that level. You'll hear details in the music that you simply could not hear before with your with your OEM system. Yeah, I think it was a, a good exercise for for me working in the engineering to be able to bring the problem to the table, uh, to the group, and us to sit around and say, hey, there's there's got to be something we can do here. So we designed the PM100X1 um, to integrate amplification into a system uh, much easier uh, or more easily than um, we, we have traditionally. What we're able to do is capture the existing power output capability of the head unit and use that as the power source for the PM100X1. The power source that we're, we're dealing with um, is is it's not a straight DC power source. Like a conventional amplifier, you hook up straight up to the battery, it's DC. The power source that's coming in from the head unit is a mix. It's, it's a DC, it's, sometimes it's AC and DC, and sometimes it's pure AC. So we had to figure out a way to convert that uh, mixed signal, mixed power signal into um, a, a, a form that, that we can use in our amplifier. And so, we're able to take uh, the DC component of a BTL amplifier, um, use that as a power source, um, and then as the audio starts to play, we are able to take that AC signal at, at the same time and convert that into the, the voltage that we need to achieve our power, our power gain. Now that we know that we're, we're dealing with this power source that has this AC DC component to it. So how do we turn 20 watts into 60 watts on the output of our amplifier? Essentially what we do is we have a, a large power supply reservoir uh, in the product, much larger than we would ever use in a conventional amplifier. And we draw energy from that reservoir when the speaker demand or the current demand on the speaker exceeds the capability of the head unit. And then when the current demand on the speaker is, is below the capability of the head unit, that's when we recharge our reservoir. By doing this, we're able to utilize the full capacity of the head unit, its current capacity, for a longer duration than it would typically be used. There's times when the current capacity of the head unit isn't being used. So let's say, you know, the music goes low. You know, that full current capacity of the head unit is just sitting back there waiting and, and untapped. What we do is essentially tap into it when it's typically not being used. And that's energy that we're tapping into is what we're using to recharge our power supply reservoir. Installation of the product is very simple. All the wires are already there. So you simply remove the speaker um, and the two wires that you need to power the thing are right there in front of you. So it's a, it's a five wire system, two wires in uh, from the head unit, two wires out back to the speaker, and then a ground pin. So, um, and with that, you're, we're able to achieve a power gain that is significantly greater than the, the original OEM power. So the PM100X1 is capable of working with different amplifiers that have the capability to drive either 4 ohm loads or 2 ohm loads. And 
that was one of our goals because we know that there are some OEM amplifiers in the market, particularly uh, premium systems, uh, where those premium amplifiers are driving two ohm loads. We did incorporate a, a high pass crossover selectable at 60, 80, and 100. Um, so depending on what speaker size you're using, you'd want to select the right crossover setting to protect the speaker. Another way we protect the speakers is there is no gain control on the product because we know the output of the head unit, what that level is, and so we fix the gain in the amplifier so there's no way to overdrive the speaker. You know, as far as this is the first uh, product that has the, the free load uh, technology, we want to be able to incorporate the technology into multiple SKUs and develop a family of products. Having gone through, you know, the conceptualization stage, uh, feasibility, development stages, uh, we are ready to, uh, in fact, producing the product right now uh, as we speak. So we're looking forward to shipping the product uh, in 2016. And, and I'm really looking forward to hearing some feedback from the field because it is such a unique product. and. Uh, I really want to see how people gravitate to it and if it really if it simplifies things.